Yeah. So you, you do what? How you do it again? How you say do it? What, how you do it? You know, wash them and cut them up in them and skin it. Mm-hmm. And slice them when they're made of pepper and put a little water and salt and a little butter. Just a little bit of water. Don't take that water. Don't go out of the salt and salt and pepper and a little butter. Mm-hmm. And sugar on it if you want some sugar on it, not just Yeah. Because they're already kind of sweet. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I know I tasted some here before and it was real good. Uh-huh. But I cook them too. They're different kind of ways. Yeah. Now when they, the, the real young ones, when they first come on the vine, mm-hmm. they cook them. I cook them. My grandma used to cook them. She would put them on the stove and she would get some green onion. Mm-hmm. And she cut them up and... Green onions in the squash a little water. When the squash got tender, she drained all the water off and mashed them up real good. Mm-hmm. And then put the salt and pepper and a little butter on them, mm-hmm. a, little, a little of uh, oil in the skillet and let them cook until yeah. they look like corn. That's the way I cooked them. Yeah, I've seen you cook something like that before. Uh-huh. Yeah. They're really good that way. Oh yeah. So do you, have, you, you peel them? Or, uh, no, no, you don't peel them. The hugs are in. Mm-hmm. Slice them like a cucumber, but you don't uh-huh. peel them. And I used to cook them, and my daddy would take them to work with him in the night. Mm-hmm. And everybody around asked him, well, what is that? Uh-huh. He said, I don't know, it's something my wife made. And he said, this is what, man, this is what grandma used to cook back in the south. <laughs> <laughs> Your wife know how to cook this young as she is? <laughs> <laughs> Your dad said, my wife cook anything. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so she was raised by her grandma. Her grandma told her how to cook. Yeah. <laughs> and every time I would cook for her, she'd have to take two or three bowls to the, to the people. To the job. Uh-huh, to the job. Uh-huh. And they would eat them, and I would buy that corn on the top and cook it. And the same thing with them. You mean to tell me your wife know how to cut corn and cook? Yeah. I told her my wife can cook anything. Man, bring me something. I'll buy it. <laughs> what? <laughs> mm-hmm. 12 miles. I'd always send this lunch to him. Oh, uh, yeah. He ordered his lunch. That's what your dad 12 miles. Uh, 12 miles. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, huh? Uh huh. You're, you're your dad's manager. Yeah, right, right. Was he the light skin minister? It's a dark skin. Brown skin, dark skin. I'm thinking of that guy yeah. who had a church on 4th Street. On 4th Street? Miss Shelby, yeah. Miss Shelby, yeah. My own potato pie, I had to always cook potato pie. And send him a piece of potato pie. I always cook coconut cake, uh huh. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh, Mr. Crutchfield. Yeah. And Mr. Van Hook. Yeah. Mayfield daddy. Every Christmas I had to cook coconut cake with him three pieces. Oh, that's right. For, mm-hmm. for Crutchfield. Mr. Uh, Crutchfield, Mr. Crutchfield, uh-huh. and Alfred Thomas. Yeah, Alfred, no, Hunt Thomas. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Oh, Craig Father. Uh-huh, Craig Father, and then I may feel bad for the yeah, like, yeah. mm, I can buddy. Oh, yeah. Oh, every, yeah, yeah. Every Christmas, you come out of the house, but it's like a corner cake. Uh, mm-hmm. And Freddie had to have a lemon cake. Yeah, he was a lemon cake. Freddie had to cook him a lemon cake. And every year, I had to make this. Miss Winters all here to you for eight years in a row. Mm-hmm. Eight, oh, yeah. eight years in, in a row. row yeah. Oh, that's right. It's coming up, huh? Uh-huh. It's coming up on my time. Uh, you still years. doing it? I don't know. I haven't been there, so I think oh. we're going to talk. No, Mama, Mama, say, looking for it. You say, uh, I like, you been doing time. this? Huh? You been doing this for how long? Eight years, nigga. No, how I made it oh, last yeah. year, Mom. I made it last year. Uh, so, yeah, you made it last year. Sure from this, it is. From this, what you call it? I can make it better, Mom. From this winter. Yep. I can make it myself. <laughs> oh, this is hot. Oh. Hog head cheese from this winter. Oh, Rebel sled. And, uh, uh. I'm not going to be able to make it because I broke it. What you call it? Mom. Uh-huh. Huh? Chuck's World, Chuck's World. This guy. This guy. <coughs> I didn't know it was in there. You ain't, no, you ain't broke out my big stuff, is you? No, it's just stuck. I can't get it out. Boy, let me show you. You got to take all that out. So the, the, um, you ain't broke my grind, is you? Oh, no. Please. No, it's not broke. It's stuck. See that? What did you put in it? I didn't put anything in it. It's oh, stuck. I'm going to show you. Oh, oh I guess I'm going to have 
Yeah, somebody took it out. Oh, that's the mom. Something was in crooked. Something was in here crooked. It's fine now. Oh, yeah, you just didn't put that in right. No, uh, it was stuck in there. No, see, it doesn't go in that way. It was stuck. I couldn't move it. Uh, you must have had this in right. All that. I couldn't move anything. It was all stuck in here crooked. But I see that it's clear. So Gil must have fixed it, maybe? I hope so. Yeah, it's fine now. None of that. It didn't move. I'm like, oh, no. Not this. It's fine. It's good. Great. Now I can make it. <coughs> now, this one, this one. You must have had this one, this one backwards. Some must have been in backwards. It's fine now. Are you sure it's stuck in there? Yeah, you see the formula. <coughs> All them different years. Huh? All them years, I, I took every year, I took them people. Oh, well, you cooked for Eight straight years for making <laughs> all that cheese. For Miss Andrews, Reverend Sled, and uh, one year for George Callaway, one year for Bradford, uh -huh. wow. and Brother Stewart. Yeah. All them had to have all that cheese. Had had your hog hit you. Uh-huh. <laughs> My Lord. Wow. No, that didn't do it. That had to be wrong. Uh, just before Nate Stewart died, he had one of some hog hit shoes I had made. Mm -hmm. And he took it home and he put it in the ice box and his, his boys ate it up. Yeah. And he didn't get none. So he come back to church the next night and he was a shepherd. Those boys ate up all of my whole head cheese. I ain't got a bit of whole head cheese. Mm -hmm. I said, what? They ate up all my whole head cheese. I said, oh, no. He said, yes, they did. He said, I wanted some so bad. And next Sunday, I made some and took to them. I said, you tell them boys, I said, don't they touch these cheese. He ate it that Sunday and went at Tuesday he died. <laughs> what? <laughs> day that Sunday, he passed. Day that Sunday, Tuesday, he died. What? He told us on the church, he said, I want you to cheat so bad. I said, that's why I made it. I was like, your daddy said, baby, that is a cheat. You don't know when he's going to kick the bucket. Yeah. And your daddy told me, just like this, that Saturday night. Yeah. And I, I made it that Saturday night and took it to church with me that Sunday. Oh. And he ate it Sunday and Tuesday, he kicked the bucket. Oh, oh, oh. Well, at least he got his healthy cheese. Yeah. <laughs> 